Right now, we're just getting new information about a Port Ritchie man who won the Mega Millions jackpot. He's the youngest person in the U.S. to win a jackpot that large. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska live in Port Ritchie for us tonight. Michael. Jameson, can you imagine this family probably celebrating tonight? Neighbors telling us that they saw them leave this morning to go to Tallahassee. There's been no activity at their Port Ritchie home all night tonight. It has been quiet and there's just a few lights left on inside the living room. It's Mega Millions. What's up, America? Last Friday, the night of the second Mega Millions drawing of the year at 11.33 p.m., Shane Missler posted three simple words on his Facebook page. That post has now gone viral, thousands commenting, sending their congrats and asking for cash. Missler claimed his $451 million prize in Tallahassee with his lawyer and his father, taking a lump sum of $281 million and change. They're down to earth people. They are. They're very nice. Missler's neighbors, jealous, of course. I'm happy for them, I truly am. Yeah. I'm going to knock on their door. <laughs> Missler registering the winnings to an LLC he created called Secret 007, but he did not deactivate his social media accounts, posting late this afternoon on his Twitter page, quote, Thank you, everyone, for the positive thoughts. This is only the beginning. I am truly grateful and most appreciative. A Facebook post from 2016 shows how humble Missler is, proud that he paid cash for his very first car. And on New Year's Day, four days before he hit the Mega Millions jackpot, he posted 2017 was a year filled with downsides, but more importantly, massive self-improvement. He goes on to call himself a kid trying to find his way, who encourages everyone one in his path to follow their dreams. Lucky guy, wish him all the best. Now we have no clue where he is going, but from his Facebook posts, I can only assume that he's headed to New, or New England tomorrow to watch the Patriots play the Titans. If I had $281 million, that is probably where I would be. We're live here in Pasco County tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.